Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve coming back for episode 10 of our Let's Play. Uh, just hanging out right now at the eagle display we finished last time. I see that we're actually blessed with magical floating eagles that can stand a good, you know, foot and a half above their food tray when they want to eat, so that's kind of awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the wonderful glitches of the various downloads, but uh, uh, it's still okay as long as it works. So let's hop on up here. And today we are going to be moving on from eagles to put in a uh, bear display. A lot of requests for bears in this forest area. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Give the people what they want. And we'll get started here. I'm going to use this area here as sort of the back end of the display. So let me just make a little raised area here. And I want this raised up here. Uh, just to give some more texture. Some of our displays, or some of my displays I should say lately, have been looking a little flat, so I want to give this one a little raised plateau inside of it. Uh, let's cut in here, just like that. And now the question is, what kind of bear are we going to put in? I, I think it's either going to be the Florida Black Bear here, which I got, it's the American Adventures. Um, what's the Spirit Bear? No, that's not what I want. Uh, but yeah, the American Adventures has that Florida black bear, or yeah, it's it's a brown bear, but it's Eurasian. And I'm kind of doing a North America thing, so black bear or the grizzly bear here. And I don't know which one I want. Um, now grizzly bears, they do come as the Zoo Tycoon con content. Uh, I've used the Radical remake, so they look a little bit better. Um, in fact, they might look a little bit better in the black bear. Let me take a good look at you here. Hmm. The, uh, the front, Mr. Grizzly. And what about you, Mr. Black Bear? You're a little bit smaller. So... Maybe, yeah, I think I'll go with the Black Bear since it's a little bit smaller because I don't want to make a huge display here. Uh, I don't want to out of proportion with the rest of our exhibits we've been doing in the forest area. Uh, oh, the coming den's a little too big. Um, I'll just go with the small rock cave. Why not? It's not the most realistic, but uh, I don't mind them. They look, they look good enough, and I'll uh, do the same, a similar thing to what I did with the foxes, where I'll build up some rocks around it and try to disguise it a little bit. And okay, let me grab the black border fence here, because I'm not just going to put rocks around the shelter. I'm just going to make the entire background of this uh, this exhibit to be rocks, just so it looks a little more natural. Um, and so uh, the basic idea is I'm, I should say this I'm trying to make like a uh, typically bears or at least the bears in my local zoo are displayed in sort of a pet where you have to go up on an elevated area to look down at them uh, a lot of zoos have done that that I've been to just kind of as a safety measure to make it more difficult for you to climb in with the bears in case you're you know a little five year old kid has a teddy bear he likes and doesn't understand the difference yet I guess um Okay, so let's just make this out here. So we'll um, we'll be putting this around here once I get the uh, outline of the exhibit like I like. We'll be building up a raised elevated platform for you. And let's just turn around here so I can see it. Uh, yeah, down the side. It doesn't have to be precise back there because I am going to fill those in with rocks, so... Um, does that line up correctly? I don't think that's a perfect mirror of the other side. Um, no it's not, but I think if I line it up at this point it won't really matter. So yeah, that's, that's the point where it curved in here. So we'll just finish off and make that part symmetrical at least. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be big enough for uh, at least one black bear, probably two. I'll probably put in a male and female. Um, the bears in Zoo Tycoon 2, uh, they do tend to kill their other offspring if there's more than one male in the area, so... Uh, just a pro tip, that's something you need to watch out for if you're putting bears in your zoo and letting the game run for a long time. You're probably going to have a dead bear carcass to clean up if you're not paying attention, so definitely watch out for that. Okay. And I'll wrap it around the edges here. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make this too thick, um, because I am used using it for the bears right now, 
Um, but this isn't going to be the final exhibit in Forest Lane. I'm planning on doing a few others that um, I'll just make it so you have to get on this walkway and you can do sort of a walk around the forest kind of thing. So we'll put in a few more exhibits based around this. And uh, since that's the case, we'll widen it out. And, um, okay, I'll just drop that and delete the excess. It's trying to fight me too much. <laughs> uh-huh. Bye. And goodbye. Okay. So we'll roll back here. And drag these down. And, yeah, I'll just leave that for now, and we'll come back and, uh, figure out exactly how we want the path to go into it later. Because I'm going to want to, uh, sort of decorate the area around the outside of this new bear exhibit before I decide the exact pathways. So, let's turn our attention to the exhibit then. Um, do a little landscaping here, uh, see if we can't flatten out this area a little bit. Uh, make it as easy as possible for the bears. Um, went a little bit over there, so that looks like the cave's floaty. Let's fix that. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's going to be just fine there. And now we'll go ahead and start adding our foliage. Um, use these red pine trees. I started using those with the eagles, or at least around the eagles um, the exhibit. And I think they looked really good. In fact, I might uh, I might start changing it so that they're like the general foliage in the forest land. So, um, because I haven't really decorated most of the pathways or anything yet. Let's put a few up front here too to make it look more like a natural forest. Um, there we go. That's probably enough. Maybe I'll add more later. Uh, but let's start grabbing the rocks here. And so, um, I'm going to use them for, uh, basically, uh, two big things we want to do with the rocks. We're going to use them to both outline the actual exhibit, so it's not just a black border there. Uh, we're going to use them to kind of disguise the cage there. And, um, I'm also going to make them sort of going down that slope pathway, just to make it a little more, yeah, uh, just make it a little more, yeah, I don't like that sticking out as much. You know what, before we put the rocks down, I wanted to, uh, put in one of these larger heated rocks for them. I actually did go ahead before this episode began and kind of found where everything is, so hopefully you won't have to watch me fumble around for the objects I'm looking for this time. Um, okay, now let's go back to putting the rocks in. So, yeah, like that, yep. That was a smaller one. I was kind of hoping for a bigger one there, kind of block out the area behind it, like so, yeah, that, that's fine. Yep. Uh, I'm taking a little more care with this area, uh, just because I don't want it... Uh, I want to put the rocks in, but I don't want them to actually mess with the hitbox for the cave, because I want the bears to be able to get inside and kind of rest. So, uh, usually once you get away, you can just kind of start slapping them down, they more or less work out, and you can sort of tweak it later. Uh, where's a little one? Like that. That's still kind of big. Um, like that? No. Like that? Yeah, okay, that, that's, that'll work. So yeah, like here in the areas I'm a little less sensitive, I'll just plop them down, one, two, three, four, like that. And maybe find an itty bitty one just to finish off the end. Like so. Um, let me go ahead and make sure this area is completely flat then. I just think that's going to make it work a little bit better. Also make the uh, pathway up to their cave a little more distinct if the rest of the land's more flat. And we'll put some rocks in the back here. Uh, I'm going to have to end up moving those trees probably because they'll be growing right out of the rocks. But Well, maybe we should build the rocks around them. Sort of give us a little challenge and keep us honest. Um, so yeah, go around the outside like so, and that'll also force us when we do put in that path to make it a little more unique looking. Um, just build this up here, okay, that's probably fine, and 
drag some more in this area. Plop, plop, plop. Uh, t -t 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 Okay, that's sufficient. Let's go ahead and finish off this side then. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. We'll have to check and make sure the bears can actually get on that heat rock, but uh, I think that's going to be okay. Yeah. Okay, and all right. Let's. This is not temperate grassland. This should be temperate forest. So I'm going to go ahead and dirt it up, and then I'm going to make a little pond for our bears over here. Uh, I don't really know how much black bears swim. I'm assuming they don't swim like as much as polar bears, but they still probably do some swimming in there. I know they do still eat fish and everything, so... Eh. Okay, let's just extend the rocks down this side, too. Grab some of these small ones to finish it up. Like so. Yep. That's that's okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um And now we're gonna use these ferns. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with the display, uh it's kinda of like what we were doing with the pathways through the general part of the zoo, where I'm gonna use these ferns. Um, sort of like I was using the royal ferns, that's just sort of the base level. Um, they're a little higher than I would usually recommend for a base level, but since this is supposed to be a forested area, uh, let's go ahead and use them. And we will use them pretty liberally around here. Just kind of fill in the area. Uh, I hope the, uh, the color of the heat of rock doesn't clash too much with the rest of it. I think it'll be okay. Um, and now while we're down here, I realize I haven't put in the kind of fences I want. Um, hmm. Let me grab... You know what, let's use one of those, uh, these brick fences here. For these. Wait a second, I thought that pathway was three high. The pathway is only two high. Um, hmm. I don't know if I have it too high. I don't really want to have to go back and redo the pathway at this point. This concrete fence line up. Oh, uh, not quite. It's a little too small. Um, shoot. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Uh, I used the low stonewall fence from Snow Leo's equipment for the skunks and the foxes. I'm pretty sure there's a too high version. Of course, I immediately grabbed the three high version by mistake. I think there's a too high version right there. That's fine. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much because uh, guests really aren't going to be able to see this wall because it's going to be underneath them. But I'll, I'll drag it across here just uh, just to make me happy for no other reason. And I actually think I'm going to make that. This is something I really like to do if I do have a elevated pathway going to exhibit. Put the entrance to the zoo or <laughs> the interest of the zoo, the interest to the exhibit underneath the pathway. It's a good way to disguise it and still make sure that there's nothing like blocking it or getting in the way. Alright, and we're back to our ferns here. Like I said, I'm going to be pretty liberal with them because they are supposed to just be the base cover. And just bring this all out. We rotate around here. Um, get some going up the pathway here, particularly where the stones are kind of rolled back. And right there. Maybe extend that out a little? Uh, maybe not. Alright, let's put some up near the actual cave entrance too. Actually, that cave blends in pretty well with these rocks. Um, I have no clue where I got these rocks from. <laughs> um, they're probably from Roundtree. Um, Roundtree is where I usually go for most of my uh, downloads and stuff. And I always, of course, have the link in my description for the video if you need to get to Roundtree. Well, there are any of the other ones that I commonly use. I do try to put them all there. Although I'm sure I've missed a few by now. And if I have, I do apologize. Just, if you know about it, let me know. I'll slap it in the description. I'm not trying to take credit. 
That came out as a question. No, I'm not trying to take credit. I'm just thinking about if I need to put more grass down. Um, okay. And for the middle... Um, for the middle foliage, like uh, if you're on our general pathways in the previous video, I've used those Russian thistles. Uh, I'm not going to use those here. Uh, what I want is... Um, oh, no, it's not a... I was going to say, I know I looked for it earlier. Yeah, there it is right there. I was in trees. They need to be in plants. I'm going to use this thing. It doesn't have a name, so I'm not entirely sure what to call it. Um, and it is not native to North America. As you can see on the little map, it's uh, part of sort of Indonesia and southern Southeast Asia. Uh, but still, it looks really good. And with as tall as those trees are, I think we're going to need a very high plant. I love the look of these guys, so I'm just going to use this as an excuse to set them down. And uh, let's fill in the area here where the rocks are absent. Mm -hmm. Like so, is that going to be enough? Um, yeah, it could be. Yeah, so far. Okay, um, let's go back and work on those pathways now. Yeah. And yeah, I think I'll use the ones with the rounded corners. Because uh, this is supposed to be sort of a natural little forest trail. So, no reason everything should be at a 90 degree angle. That rock kind of bleeds into the fox display. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it go. It looks fine. It's not like that rock wouldn't be in there in nature. So yeah, a nice sort of fatter rounded path there, which is going to give me some room to... Uh... You know what it gives me some room for? Um... Yeah, I just had a thought occur. Let me, let me put that on pause. And um, let me just fix this tree here because I noticed it was sort of growing out of the rock. So, you know what? Let's copy these. Put down a few of these trees here in this area in between the rocks and our uh, gatekeeper house for the foxes and skunks. Sort of help to fill in this area. Mm. Yeah, I'm still thinking, you know, I'm, I'll let it go. <laughs> let's let's unpause here and take a peek at what this looks like from the guest level. Um, oh, we're having a little bit of lag there. Well, as soon as it's done splashing, we'll go ahead and uh, take a peek. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, you can't really tell how artificial that looks. Um, that's okay. I don't mind looking out that way. And you can't really see anything distracting on the other side either. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Uh, one thing I do want to do is sort of put in a bigger rock here, though, uh, just so it doesn't look quite so uniform. I think that's going to help make that area stand out a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't mind that it goes on the path. That looks like we're just planting something there. And now we'll zip around on the other side and build up our pathway here. And what is going on with that ramp? Um, alright, let me lay down this path first and then I'll deal with that issue. Because I don't know why that ramp has a railing along the ground. this up. Hopefully I can just delete it and when I rebuild it, it will work just fine. Downward path, starting from here. Like that. Beautiful. Okay. Some little glitch. And let me just put down a path here so there's no border along that side. 
No, I do really like the look of that, uh, the fern, the plant what has no name, and those large pine trees. Maybe I'll, we'll make that, like, the design for the entire area here. But right now, I want to change this uh, railing on this pathway here. Uh, yeah, even though it's got the bamboo frame, I think it's going to fit in just fine. Let's wrap down these glass here. Again, we don't want anyone jumping into the bear pit because they think it's a teddy bear. And now, nameless plant, I see that you are going through the glass, which just should not be physically possible. So let's go ahead and get you moved slightly. Um, stop. No. Come on. Come. No. All right. Well, if you won't let me pick you up to move you, I'm just going to blue eat you. There, much better. Well, okay, I'll, I'll fix that off camera because I'm being persnickety now. Um, let's rotate around here. And, yeah, I think I'm going to do what I was thinking of, and, um, because I have a little space here, it's not big enough for an exhibit, I kind of want to just fill it in with something for the guest, and what I think I'm going to do is put in a restaurant. We haven't had a proper place for them to eat yet. They've got those, uh, that little food court we did way, way back in episode two, yeah. But, uh, they don't have a place to sit down and eat, and I'm sure that if we were just letting the zoo run in unpause mode, we'd be getting that complaint all the time at this point. So we'll drop in a restaurant here, and we'll just grab a pathway to it, like so. I'll make it a double wide, why not? And then we can, uh, decorate the area around it with some trees and stuff. Let me get that lined up, just so I have, a. Uh, no, like, OCD problems. Nope, right there. And if we're putting that in, we might as well make this a full guest area. So let me go ahead and grab a bathroom. Put that down, too. That's one of the things I actually dislike about Zoo Tycoon 2, is that it, if you have, like, a large map, it expects you to have like, you know, seven, eight restaurants in the place if you're running it in a in a, a challenge mode. Um, for some reason, they need like way more restaurants than any other zoo would have. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. But um, here we go. Let's flop down. I'll put an ATM right there. Because I'm sure they're out of money by now. They haven't had an ATM again since that food court. So a nice little guest area there. And oh. You know what, I'm going to actually delete those. Um, the reason being is that because it's so close to the water, I wouldn't be able to put like the correct uh, foliage there that I want to put across from the waterway. So I'm going to leave that open. Uh, so, yeah, the restaurant and the uh, bathroom are fine, but those two were like, right on the edges. Um, so that's enough for that for now. I'll, I'll probably shoot it off camera like I said, but uh, going here and finding some food for my bears. Uh, of course the hollow log. You know me, I can't have enough of hollow logs. For some reason every display they're out there. Put in some berries. And of course bears are omnivores. They're going to need some meat. Um, let's put it down like inside this patch of ferns I already laid. And I think they're going to have no problem drinking from the lake that we gave them, but I'll put down a dish here just in case. And let me cover that dish up with some more ferns. Maybe even thicken this out where the meat was. Okay. Um, anything else I want to do? Uh, let me grab some of these logs here. Just to Kind of add a little more flavor to the game. And brown. Uh, we'll put it. Let's put it actually like it's coming. Yeah, out of the water here maybe. And I want to drop a few more of these plants for which I have no name. If you know the name, leave it in the comments. That way I won't sound quite so stupid next episode. <laughs> Just gonna help fill in the area, I think. Put a few more back to make up for the ones I deleted here.
and anything. Oh, let's give him one of those big pursuit balls. I'm pretty sure they're coded to actually play with that, so that'll be a neat thing for them to look at. Uh, you know, I'm not 100% confident they can get on that heated rock uh, just because of a hitbox issue, so let's make sure they have something to entertain themselves in the meanwhile. And we'll drop down both a male and a female on pause. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. And, oh, we did not manage to get on the pathway. Forward a little bit, and now I'm going to guess mode. And how's our display looking? Uh, I can kind of see the meat, but it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm actually liking that a lot. I like it. Um, oh, that restaurant really stands out. Um, shoot. Uh, let's see, is there anything over on this side I think was good because it's just sort of that uh, torches. I don't mind those, but that restaurant kind of galls me. Um, okay, they're not integral to the place. Uh, before I forget, put a zookeeper in. And, yep, okay. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that restaurant and get rid of that path too. Uh, leave the bathroom for now, that's fine. I might put it back in, or I might put in, like, um, just some food stands or something. Something simple. I, I don't know. Okay. But let's get back to work on our exhibit here. Uh, I'm just going to change the railings right now on the elevated pathway. I don't really like that one that comes standard with this pathway. Um, oh, no. You know what? I know exactly what I'm going to do, I think. Yes, yes I do. Uh, I think it was from the European Expansion Pack? Yeah, the European Expeditions, right here, this uh, low railing fence. I don't know if you can see over it, but um, it doesn't really matter, because the area for viewing our bears is going to have the glass, so this is going to come up, and I think it's going to look really excellent and fit well into our display, and it's kind of, it matches the fence that I started using as the outside for our uh, forest land area here. So, that'll match nicely, it'll tie in. And that's pretty good. Um, now, let me go ahead and delete this too, because it looked like it was right in front of the entrance way. Uh, so yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, uh, so let's see, it's only been, oh, it's been about 30 minutes, um, so I'll go a little bit longer here. I'm going to actually uh, start working on sort of decorating the area around, the, like, the pathways and stuff, which I've been kind of remiss in in forest land here. Uh, so let's just put down some pathways first. Yeah, I guess I can put a food court there, and since this is a little fatter area, I could probably put down... Uh, some umbrella tables or anything. Um, I might do that off camera, I might do that next episode. I'm not gonna waste your time there. But I'm gonna fix this pathway because it's irking me that it's a straight railing and a curved path. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine over there. Yeah, that's not bad. What about this side over here? Okay, and here's that forest fence I was talking about earlier, so we'll continue to use this as the outline. And I do think I'm going to use these, um, the red pine, fern, and nameless plants as sort of our general area. I can't even see the ferns from up here. Let me zoom in. They're not distinct enough from the grass color. But that'll change once we, uh, drop in our nameless plants, because that changes the biome. But, uh, anyway, I'm just going to make that our general look for the forest area. Uh, try to get more, well, forest-like. But so far, I've kind of been remiss here, as I said, so. And it's the same process. We're going to line the ferns up front there. Let me pop in some red pines. Sort of have them on either side of that, uh, the entrance to the walkway there, so they kind of frame it. 
Uh, put one behind the benches. And grab these guys. And we'll use these more or less like we use the bamboo, now that I'm thinking about it. It's not uh, not so much the Russian thistles, more the bamboo. Just kind of block out the areas I don't want guests really looking at. Um, maybe one right there, yeah, that's fine. And in between there. I just don't want it so thick that it overwhelms everything. Perhaps in between these like three trees making that little triangle there. Something like that. Very good. And uh, there's a little dead space here between the pathway. So let's try to fill this in. And actually, I'm liking how these trees. I might actually start deleting those fences that I put on the sides of the path here because I'm liking um, how this looks without it. So that might be a tweaky thing I made. But, uh, Let's get rid of these then. Those maple, I thought they looked fine, but uh, if we're going to change our scheme, let's go with these cooked pines that I used back in their eagle display last time. Uh, just so it's not all the red uh, pines. I'm putting in some of these cooked pines. Again, they come from a completely different place in the world, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's just an aesthetic thing. We'll use them to fill up this area. And unpause. Let's go ahead and take a walk through that area and make sure, because I think it's going to look pretty good, but uh, you never really know sometimes. Sometimes weird stuff happens when you get down here on the ground level. So there's the tree hollow with our skunks. And if we make a left-hand turn, um, yeah, that area is looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that that's turning out. We'll walk up here. Eventually we'll walk out and see. I don't know, probably put in some wolves. I get a lot of requests for wolves out there. But uh, if we look to the right, we can see our black bears. We're doing excellent. In a pretty neat looking display, if I can say so myself. Um, yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, yeah, I'm very happy with that. I'm, I think it turned out well. Uh, I might do some landscaping off camera just to save you some tedious work, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy, and uh, I hope you are too. If you are, please let me know in the comments. If you're not, let me know in the comments. Uh, the only way I'm going to get better is with critique, so if you got something to critique, please don't uh, hesitate. Or if you just want to say something nice, I like those too. Uh, either way, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me for another episode, and have a great day.